Friends, what are you up to today? Holly and I are pretending to be farmers. We've been picking pumpkins in our pumpkin patch. Farms are such a beautiful place in the fall. The leaves are changing. They're orange and red and yellow. The fields are full of pumpkins and the trees are full of apples. Winter is very different on a farm. The fields are empty. It's cold. The sky is dark. It can be kind of a sad time on a farm. God's Word has a story about a dark, sad day in the life of Jesus. Let's listen to it together from Matthew 27. It was early in the morning. All the chief priests and the elders of the people planned how to put Jesus to death. So they tied him up and led him away. Then they handed him over to Pilate, who was the governor. Jesus was standing in front of the governor. The governor asked him, are you the king of the Jews? Yes, you have said so, Jesus replied. But when the chief priests and the elders brought charges against him, he did not answer. Then Pilate asked him, don't you hear the charges they are making against you? But Jesus made no reply. The governor was really amazed. It was the governor's practice at the Passover feast to let one prisoner go free. The people could choose the one they wanted. At that time, they had a well-known prisoner named Jesus Barabbas. So when the crowd gather, gathered, Pilate asked them, which one do you want to set free? Jesus Barabbas? or Jesus, who is called the Messiah. Barabbas, they answered. Then what should I do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? Pilate asked. They all answered, Crucify him! Why? What wrong has he done? asked Pilate. But they shouted even louder, Crucify him! Pilate let Barabbas go free, but he had Jesus whipped. Then he handed him over to be nailed to a cross. When the soldiers had nailed him to the cross, they divided up his clothes by casting lots. From noon until three o'clock, the whole land was covered with darkness. About three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice. He said, my God, my God, why have you deserted me? After Jesus cried out again in a loud voice, he died. At that moment, the temple curtain was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook, the rocks split. The Roman commander and those guarding Jesus saw the earthquake and all that had happened. They were terrified. They exclaimed, he was surely the son of God. As evening approached, a rich man came from the town of Arimathea. His name was Joseph. He went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body, and Pilate ordered that it be given to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth. He placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock and rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb. That is a hard story to listen to. It was a very dark and sad day in the life of Jesus and those who loved him. There's good news. Just like the farm will be full of life again, so will Jesus. I can't wait until next week when we get to hear the rest of this story. Until then, have a good week, friends. See you next time on the amazing adventures of the Pillow Fork.